What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Elder Scrolls Online video here on the channel. Or actually this is going to be the start of a new series here for you guys on the channel. This one in particular is going to be on the Dark Brotherhood DLC. I'm actually pretty excited to get started on this. As you guys know from many of my previous videos, I have done this DLC before. However, I just kind of, you know, rushed through it. I didn't get any content whatsoever in terms of the story fed to me. I just kind of, like I said, rushed through it. So I don't know anything about this DLC in terms of story, lore, etc, etc. So I'm excited to get started on that uh, uh, here on the channel. So if you are to do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So enough yapping from me. Let's go ahead and get started on this DLC. All right, so we're here. We got Bastion here with us. We have There's discovered Anvil. About wandering a city streets with no destination. Whatever you say, Bastion. Dual wielding increased to 18. Who are we supposed to talk to? Use the light of Meridia. I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, that's Cadwell's journey. I'm not trying to do all that right now. I need to figure out. Well, it says right here. Over here. Uh huh. This place is nice, but it's not a home. Feels like I'm hiding down here. People like us, we need powerful friends if we're gonna make it in this world. Yeah. What do you mean by uh people like us? Don't play coy. I see it in your eyes. You've killed people, or you will. You've got the same urges as I do. Just between us, I hear the Dark Brotherhood is recruiting for some new blood. I'm going to try my best to get their attention. The Dark Brotherhood, you say? You never heard of Tamriel's most elite guild of assassins? No, do tell. Rumor has it that if you take an innocent life and they notice, they'll offer you a place in the Dark Brotherhood. There, killers are free to pursue their true passion. Think about it. Okay, I'll think about it for sure. Thanks for the information. Word of advice. Urges aside, the Dark Brotherhood prefers to keep a low profile. Just remember... Kill an innocent, get noticed. My sources say that recruiting is happening here in Anvil. I'll be at the docks if you want to talk some more. Okay, hold on real quick. Before you go to the docks, I wanted to talk to you a little bit. Gather some more information. Why do you think Anvil is the, pl uh, is the place to get noticed? I'm not one to reveal my sources. But Fat Grakal told me that he overheard Seaworthy Sarala say that there have been some mysterious murders committed on the Gold Coast. To me, nothing says Dark Brotherhood like mysterious murders. I mean, that's fair. But why do you think the Dark Brotherhood specifically is looking for recruits, though? Oh, I got that from Margog the Hammer. Buy him a couple of ales and he spouts secrets like a bard spouts poetry. Just the other day... He told me that his cousin Crust killed a baker in Anvil. He received a mysterious visit that very night. A mysterious visit, you say? What kind of mysterious visit? You really don't know anything about the Brotherhood, do you? If they decide you're worthy enough to receive an invitation, one of their dark dignitaries shows up to deliver the news in person. It's kind of creepy, but it's also a singular honor. Singular honor? If you say so there, gal. Uh, how do you know so much about the secret organization of, of assassins? That's one of the best things about the Dark Brotherhood. It hides in plain sight. No one knows where its headquarters is or how many members it has. Yet you can go into any library and read a book about them. It's brilliant, really. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree with you. That's pretty, pretty fascinating how they can be so secretive and yet so public at the same time, you know? So you read a book about the Dark Brotherhood? Quite a few, actually. My favorite is the Night Mother's Truth. It describes the origins of the Brotherhood, although it might all be theory and conjecture. But forget the books. Everyone knows the Brotherhood exists, and most people fear them. So what are the benefits of joining a secret group of assassins like that? Fellowship, safety, and security, to name just a few. I understand there's also a steady flow of gold from all the contracts. And you get to kill people. Can you imagine a better guild to belong to? 
better than picking pockets, if you ask me. Okay, I get all that and everything, but let me get this straight. You want me to just randomly walk up to somebody and kill a random person in cold blood? I don't want you to do anything. I'm just providing information. Letting you know that new opportunities are available if you're willing to spill a little blood. You know, it's kind of fascinating how you're pretty open and nonchalant about all of this. Don't take my willingness to help out as a sign or anything. I recognized a kindred spirit and suggested a way to satisfy your darkest urges. They'll get you killed if you don't keep them under control. And if you don't find the right allies. So, the thing about it is, I have killed before. Why hasn't the Dark Brotherhood contacted me already then? Hey, I don't know exactly how they select new recruits. I'm just telling you what I've heard. Maybe you just need to be in the right place at the right time. Like Anvil. Of course, I've also heard they have eyes everywhere, so what do I know? I think we've already asked this before, but I want to click it and see what happens. That's one of the best things about yeah. the Dark Brotherhood. It has a few at fellowship, safety, and security. Too. Okay, yeah, we've already gotten all that information, it appears. Who's this guy? He's wearing Imperial armor, and yet he's an Ultimer. Oh wait, this is another player. <laughs> Oops. I thought it was an NPC for some strange reason. Okay, so I gotta kill an innocent person. First things first, Bastion, my friend, you have you to go has returned, for now. He's going to lead the fighters guild now. If you say so. Who shall I kill? This? Um. How do I do this? Do I just have to... Okay, that's not working. How do I do this? This person's kind of alone? Pick... Oh, there it is. Please nobody see me. I got away with it. I got away with it. All right. I'm officially an assassin. Oh god, what am I getting myself into? Uh You there. Wait for a moment, if you would. I didn't mean to do that. Uh Time, time out, all right? Hold that thought. Really? <laughs> I have no idea what happened, but I gotta figure out how to get out of here now. Okay, I could just come up this way. Hey, look, it's a Khajiit. All right, sir, where you at? Where you at? I'm coming. Hey, what's up? Pardon the interruption. I've been looking for you. Can I help you with something, my kind sir? Not me, but I have something for you. A letter, confidential. Private. I have it here somewhere. Ah, yes. Here it is. Interesting. I'm also supposed to extend a verbal invitation to visit the lighthouse. Odd that they didn't just put that in the letter. The lighthouse? Yes, the Anvil Lighthouse, just <coughs> up the way. The sender ordered me to direct you there after I handed over the letter. I'm glad I found you. After looking for the woman with the eye patch all day, I figured I was in for late night. What woman with an eye patch? What, what are you talking about? Emily Crow? Do you know her? No. I gave her a letter right there on the anvil docks. I have no idea where she went in such a hurry, but she seemed excited to receive it. Anyway, I have more deliveries to make before I can rest for the day. Farewell. Wait, is that the girl that we were just talking to? The gods keep you. It, it might have been. Right, I'm just going to swim there. Hopefully I don't get eaten alive by a uh, slaughter fish. Luckily the uh, lighthouse really isn't far. It's just, just here. It's a good thing we didn't get Bastion here either. That would have been bad. He would have hated us. She's dead. Who are you? 
Come closer and let me look into your eyes. Oh, he looks cool. No remorse. No mercy. Yes, you do have the eyes of a killer. How many lives ended looking into those eyes? Enough that the Night Mother has noticed, obviously. Which brings us both to this place and time. Let's be... Mm, I, I want to find out more information, but I kind of want to play the role. Let's remain silent. Nothing to say? I can appreciate that. I'm here for a job. I am a speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. I speak with the voice of the Night Mother. We have been watching you. You can deal death, but you lack purpose. We can change that, if you are willing. I'm listening, speaker. As well you should. I am certain you have questions, but first, we must determine if you are worthy of joining the Dark Brotherhood. You take lives easily and without hesitation. We know that you can kill. Now show us that you can also obey. Dude, he looks awesome. He really does. I'm ready to hear your proposal, Mr. Speaker Man Dude Guy. Splendid. We shall see how well you marry business with death. But first, allow me to present you with a gift. I shall teach you how to call upon a particular tool of our trade. What sort of tool are we speaking of? A tool for dealing death, of course. One forged by unseen hands. The Blade of Woe. I already have that. Wield it from the shadows and its edge shall deliver your prey to Sithis in the void. So I kind of... I, I, I guess I forgot to say this in the intro, but I had already purchased... I already went through the quest line and maxed out the Dark Brotherhood... Uh, you know, skill line. I unlocked it, tabled for able to purchase, and I bought it just to make the whole beginning parts. Uh, I guess expedite the beginning portion of this, cause grinding the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild was it was horrible. It was hor I hated it to be honest. So I just flat out bought it uh, off the Crown Store. So uh, I'm fully maxed out on that right now. Well, I accept your gift. In return, I already have it. I expect only unwavering loyalty and ruthless efficiency. Now, let us discuss the task before you. A killing that shall form a covenant between us. Signed in blood. Ooh, that sounds scary. The Imperial Noble, Lord Quintus Gerol, has been marked for death by the Black Sacrament. Your task is simple. Find Gerol and kill him. Why is it always an Imperial? This is my favorite race in the game, dude. It's like, leave my people alone. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, why has he been marked for death? That isn't a question we ask. Okay. Suffice to say, he offended someone enough to get them to perform the Black Sacrament. The Night Mother heard the prayer, and now Gerald must die. This is the task I have set before you. Okay. Enough said. I'll kill Lord Quintus Jarl. Excellent. The noble's estate can be found northwest of Anvil along the Gold Road. How you perform the execution is up to you. Just make sure Lord Quintus Gerol dies by your hand. Then and your initiation into oh. the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. I kind of almost jumped the gun there. Any words of wisdom before I set out uh, to murder the noble? The wise traveler asks for directions before the path diverges. Never hesitate to rely on your fellow Brotherhood members once you complete your initiation. I assume you want to know what awaits you at the noble's estate? I suppose, that, uh, I suppose that's a good place to start as any. Killing requires few special skills, but reaching your target? That's the real task, isn't it? That's High fair. walls, locked gates, and armed patrols protect the estate. There is another way to reach the estate grounds, if you're interested. As a matter of fact, I am interested. A series of smuggler tunnels runs beneath the withered rose and leads directly to the estate's courtyard. 
That's the route I would take. And don't forget to bring lockpicks. Jerol is a cautious man. He never leaves the door unlocked behind him. What's the Withered Rose? The Withered Rose? A small hostel outside the city. Our lovely mother and daughter own the place, but they've had trouble making ends meet. The smuggler tunnels provide them with an alternate source of income, and they're perfect for your needs. Uh, you've mentioned the Night Mother. Who is the Night Mother? Our unholy matron and the one true bride of Sithis. We are her children, forever wrapped in her cold, loving embrace. So basically the Night Mother is your leader. There will be time enough for more questions after you complete the task before you. Just know that she watches you. She loves you. As she loves all her children. Do not disappoint her. That was a very eerie and creepy statement that he just said. Okay. Speaking of which, what is the Black Sacrament? The Black Sacrament is the ritual by which a client procures the Dark Brotherhood services. Using an effigy of the intended victim, a client pleads for the Night Mother to send an assassin to end the specified life. With no remorse, no regret. So basically the Dark Brotherhood is a group of paid assassins. To put it simply, yes. The lives of the innocent and the guilty alike are ours for the taking. And every soul goes to Sithis. As long as the price is paid. Death is our craft, our religion, and our trade. And business, as always, is good. Well, that's scary. Tell me more about the Blade of Woe. The Blade of Woe is the ebony dagger of our brotherhood. It is a single weapon, unique and powerful in the right hands. When one of our brothers or sisters needs the blade for a kill, it appears to help carry out the assassination. Good to know. He literally <laughs> murdered her. <laughs> what is this? Exposing the terrible... E I'm not reading this. Guys, so as a prerequisite, I gotta say this because if, if I don't, you guys are gonna wonder why I don't read lore books. I am a terrible reader. Comprehension-wise, pretty decent. But the actual word-for-word, per-word uh, reading is terrible on my end. I read super slow. Therefore, I will not be reading it. However, I do this thing where I kind of just like leave it on the screen for a short second so you guys could pause it and read it for yourselves if that's something you guys would like. I actually read them in post. So push pause if you guys want to read this and that. All right, let's get out of here. I kind of want to see what's in what's in here. Let's explore a little bit. Who that? I don't know. Doesn't appear like there's anything or anyone in here. Does this lead outside? It does. I don't want to just lo leave. Or maybe I do. I don't know. So that's locked. Did I see another door? Yeah, that leads to Anvil too. So everything basically leads out. Dude, that dude looks so cool, man. Look at him. I think... I think we have unlocked that outfit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know there is an outfit that you unlock. It's called like the Thieves, or not the Thieves, the um, like the Dark Brotherhood Regalia or something like that. Oh, the Shrouded Armor. Yeah. I think I'm gonna wear this throughout the hold on what is this okay that's soul shriven yes i i basically buy everything from the crown shop um there was another one man that you unlock i believe for com for maxing out the dark brotherhood um i gotta go through it all though to be honest because i i'm not i probably passed it like five times already 
I'm pretty sure it's the outfit that he was wearing. Um, I think I'm going to wear this one, though, but I want to take a look at the other one real quick. Oh, the Dark Passions Regalia is what I was thinking of, but that's actually a, a vampire-themed one for female body types. Court of Bedlam. Oh, the Black Hand Robe, that's the one. Yeah, see? That's the same one he's wearing. Except his looks better because it's all black. This one has like a bunch of other stuff. As cool as this one is though, I want to wear the shrouded armor because we are not the speaker. So let's go back down. We'll put on the shrouded armor. And we're going to wear this for the remainder of the gameplay. For this DLC, of course. Alright. Let's go ahead and go. Hold on, I gotta check out the map. Where are we going exactly? Use the tunnels. Find a way to the... Okay. So luckily the tunnels really aren't that far. This, whoops. Let's hop on the horse. It actually... This horse actually matches this outfit too. Wait, hold on. Do I have... Speaking of which... Whoops. We should... See if we have a cool mount. You know... I... I kind of think this would look dope. Oh, yep. We're rocking this for the remainder of the DLC. It's, it's always weird. Here, let me let me get Bastion back. It's always weird playing. I'm so used to playing with companions. Let's go! Come on, baby. Dunzo. Yeah, I like, I like playing with companions. I'm sorry. I'm so ecstatic at the fact that there's uh, uh, two new... I think her name is like Isabel or something like that. And Ember, I believe, is the two new companions coming out with the next DLC. I'm ecstatic, dude. I can't wait for those. And I will be rocking them here on the channel, by the way. I'm especially excited about the Breton because recently the Breton race has been skyrocketing rapidly. For the longest time, my favorite races was the Imperial is always going to be my number one. I love Imperials. I love everything about Imperials. And then Khajiit and Wood Elves were always my number two. And they were always really close by each other. But I don't know why. But the lore behind Bretons are it's just fascinating. I love it so much. And because of that, I think it's skyrocketing to one of my favorite races in the Elder Scrolls series. So I would argue it's probably one of my favorites now. Probably my number two. I'm really digging them a lot. Unlock, eh? Oh, Bastion's not gonna like this. Having Ember, because apparently she's like a morally gray, she would, she would be a great companion to have on this DLC. Is there nobody down here? Okay, you guys can go ahead and read this. I would not be able to read this even if I wanted to, man. This I can't read this that good. But yeah, go ahead and feel free to push pause if you guys want to understand this or whatever. This is from Lord Quintus. The guy we're set to kill. So it's pretty interesting to find out a little bit more of his lore. I can't wait to read that in post. Screw you, little thing. Let me get what's his name back. I'm gonna be putting him like putting him away and taking him out every chance I get. Because I don't yeah. want to lose rapport with him. Let's go oh, find okay. someone to help. Someone to help? Yeah. That's... That's yeah. one way to put it. We're definitely going to help him find his god. That's for sure. Whatever he believes. Can I just... I'm going to trigger this, aren't I? Okay, good. Am I... 
Okay, yeah, I have two daggers. For some reason, it looked like the one in the front is longer than the one in the back. But it's not. Okay, I'm not gonna steal that. Let's go. Are we still trespassing? We are. We're at the Yarl Yarl Estate. Who that? It's another player. Huh. It's an Imperial too. Uh oh. Up. Uh. That was a fail. Let's go. You know what the funny thing about this is? Is that... It's... it's I'm a Templar, right? And... For some reason, it almost feels backwards being like a light character. And yet being in the Dark Brotherhood. Whoops. I gotta focus. There we go. That other player was just chilling there staring at me. We're probably going to have to kill some more people, aren't we? You're no longer trespassing. But I killed a couple people, so... Wait, I'm in a... I thought I said I wasn't trespassing anymore. Oh. I fell for that. Nobody's coming, are they? Okay, you guys can go ahead and read this. And that. Okay, I don't see nobody in here. Search the wine cellar? That'll be downstairs, right? It's gotta be. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to kill him. Yet. He's going to come over here. And I'm going to have to kill him. Okay, maybe not. Really? He found me. As I was going through the door. Once again, you guys can go ahead and read this. Go ahead and push pause if that's something you guys would like to do. Search the wine cellar. Completed. Okay, I'm going to have to go that way. I need to wait for this Imperial to get out of the way, though. Let's go. Slow and steady, baby. What happened? Oh, there's somebody right there. Is it the same person? Bam! Dude, I'm a master assassin already, man. Find Lord Quintal. impressive not gonna lie <clears throat> should probably get <gasps> oh <laughs> dude I'm I'm horrible at this I feel like I need a new buddy though I see a little passage down here. Quintus, I appreciate you providing a safe place for our meeting, but couldn't you straighten up a bit before we got here? My apologies, Governor Fortunata, but there's no safer place south of Varen's Wall than right here, vermin notwithstanding. I don't know, Fortunata. This place seems to suit you. What are they talking about? <laughs> 
That's no way to speak to your betters, Count Kara. Speaking of which, when are you going to finally turn Kavaj over to a proper ruler? Your people deserve so much grace. My lord and lady, please. We have a more pressing concern, and it affects us all. Careful, Queen. I can't even- I can barely hear him now. The Dark Brother had grown stronger and threatened everything we built here. They're talking about the Dark Brotherhood. There we go. Okay. I forgot to mention, Primate Artoria sends his regrets. But cathedral business forced him to remain in That's them. He indicates that he will support whatever we decide. I rule Anvil with an iron glove. But you let that glorified priest walk all over, Kavach, Count Carolus. I govern while Artorius handles spiritual matters and the cathedral's defenders the order of the hour. I have allowed them to patrol Kavach until the murderer is apprehended. Haven't the last few murder victims been suspected members of the Dark Brotherhood? Perhaps if we do nothing, this murderer will solve our problem for us. I refuse to allow a vigilante to freely stalk the streets of my city. That is why I allowed Artorius to expand the Order of the Hour's authority. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you and Artorius were building an army. Should I be worried, my dear Count? <laughs> Who is this guy? Count Aquarilalos, whatever, I can't even pronounce his name. Governor Fortuna, that's her. That means this dude has to be the our target, right? <gasps> Whoa, that was close. Get out of here. I'm not trying to kill more Imperials. Or maybe I do. I don't know. There we go. <gasps> They're everywhere. My god, dude, this guy has a... Has an insane security detail. Oh, crap. I might be able to sneak through. Okay, uh-oh. Count Carolus. Can we at least get your assurance that the Order will return to the Cathedral once this threat is resolved? Primate Artorius gave me his word, and I give you mine. And why should I trust either of them, Queen? I gotta hear this. What good is their word when I find the Order at Anvil's walls? That won't happen, Fortunata. We're not as ambitious and ruthless as you. Despite his holy station, Artorius is a man. He has the same needs and desires as any other. Lord Quintus, intruders have penetrated the estate. We need to move the three of you immediately. Oh, no. Don't be alarmed, my friends. We've prepared for any contingency. Commander, secure the halls. Make sure no one follows us. Of course, my lord. We'll find the intruders. Oh, crap. Our mission's a fail. It's probably because we killed somebody. Bonus, use the blade of woe. I'm going to use it on this dude. Sayonara, sucker. It didn't... Uh-oh. You want some of this too, buddy? Oh, yeah. Even though they're Imperials, my favorite race, it's satisfying. Oh, this is where they were having the meeting. How, they could have seen me easily on both occasions. They're not very observant. So, are they going to escape or am I, am I going to be able to murder them? Let's go. Ah! <laughs> uh, 
That scared the hell out of me. Can I not? I don't know what happened. I, I don't know why I couldn't assassinate that guy. That was an accident. I fat fingered it. Goodbye. Oh, I just stabbed her in the gut and... Oh, God. Let's go. I just slapped her with my blade. You didn't see nothing. What? Oh, there was a secret. Where did she go, though? She, like, completely disappeared. Oh, am I supposed to use the Blade of Woe on Lord Quintus? Oh my god! It's so satisfyingly brutal. Okay, so the right way is this way, it appears. I see him. Show yourself, assassin. Another one of those brotherhood who prefers to strike from the shadows. Absolutely. Time out. I think he wants me to high five him. I think that's what it means. <laughs> Just kidding. I know it's not. Let me kill your little friend here. Really? Okay, how are we going to do this? Don't turn around. Yes! Oh my god, dude. This is so satisfying. Let's go. This is satisfying. I love it. Back to the Gold Coast we go. I'm digging it. Where are we going? Are we going back to the castle? We are. I'm actually going to ride there. I don't want to spend the caps. So let's go ahead and just do it the old fashioned way. You don't see nothing. Bing, bingo. Run! I don't want to fight no beetles. They mean nothing to me. Alright, I see the... Are we going? Are we going? Oh, crap. Hello. What? Why is everyone respawning? Nice. This guy's bad too. All right, screw it. They're all gonna die. Just like that. <laughs> Gotta love sweeps, man. Or which one's this one? This one's the, um... Oh yeah, it was that one right there. Yeah, sweep. Sweeps is... Sweeps is nice. Oh, why? Why is there so many people? <laughs> I wanted to see that. Nice try there, buddy. Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna kill everyone. Donezo. This build is legit, dude. It's perfect for like smaller things, but when it comes to boss fights. Or people with, you know, very large amounts of health. It becomes, uh... Becomes a little different. Which reminds me, I still need to buy some... 
some uh, potions because I got none. Maybe some, maybe tristats since it's a hybrid build, you know? Wait, can I buy, I think I could buy tristat potions from here. I've never bought, um, yeah, these right here. Can I buy them individually? Supplies, maybe? For 10. I mean, I got plenty. I'm gonna buy, like... I'm gonna buy 20. I'll buy... I'll buy 40. Screw it. And then... I will... Put it... Hold on. I forgot to do this already. Inventory... There we go. I remembered. And now, I have it available. Whenever I need it. That was my first time ever buying potions. Oh, this is going to be cool. We know that Quintus Jarol is dead. The Brotherhood has eyes everywhere. So I've heard. You have done well. The Covenant is sealed, signed in blood. Welcome to the family, brother. Hey! That's all I had to do to prove myself? We have been watching you for a long time. Killing the nobles simply sealed our covenant. Now you need to meet your brothers and sisters. I will send you to a sanctuary. A safe house of sorts. A home. As well as a source of additional contracts. Where is the sanctuary? Not far. It's the reason I summoned you to the Gold Coast. There is much work to accomplish here, and you will be a part of that. Your new home lies to the north, hidden beneath Varen's wall. Go there, and attempt to open the Black Door. The Black Door? The Black Door will pose a question. What is the flavor of fear? Reply, sublime, my brother. And the sanctuary shall be open to you. Once inside, seek out Astara. She has additional instructions for you. Why are you called a speaker? I am the voice of the Night Mother. She conveys her will to the listener, who then passes it on to one of the four speakers of the Black Hand to carry out. The Black Hand? The Black Hand. The instrument by which the Night Mother rules the Dark Brotherhood. It consists of one listener and four speakers. Four fingers and a thumb. Never more, never less. The Black Hand oversees the sanctuaries, among other duties. Okay, so in his analogy, I guess the listener is the thumb and the speakers are the th fingers it's kind of weird but okay uh what happened to the woman in the chair just a little business i had to attend to i do like to keep my dagger sharp as it were her family had certain documents and presumed to make allegations that might have embarrassed the brotherhood so you killed her to avoid this embarrassment the Brotherhood isn't that petty, but we do have certain obligations to uphold. I gave her the greatest gift of all, solace. Just as you gave the same gift to Lord Jarrell. And there will be many more gifts to grant before your work is done. Are there other Brotherhood sanctuaries? Of course. Since the formation of the Dark Brotherhood, our shadow has stretched across the entirety of Tamriel. Not every sanctuary has flourished, however, and our grip isn't as secure as we'd like in certain parts of the world. I don't understand. Not that it concerns you, but Vardenfell continues to be a source of... irritation. The Gold Coast, however, presents an opportunity we can all profit from. Here we can establish a foothold that will serve the Brotherhood for generations to come. 
So, Anvil is basically the headquarters. At least that's the vibe I'm getting out of it. Gain entry into the sanctuary. Where is the sanctuary? Whoa. Okay, it's, it's kind of... It's kind of a ways away. Let's, um... We haven't been inside Anvil yet, so let's go ahead and go inside Anvil. And see what this has going for it. Just really quick. Wait, hold on. Was this... No, this is just yeah. guild traders. Stuff like that. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Looks homey. What is this place? Does it tell me on here? It It's uh, nothing, apparently. Gold Coast Trading Company. Very nice. Stop. I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. But you're on my list and I have to collect your fine. Uh, sure. Thanks to the fines. You paid. Why does she... Oh look, somebody's dead. There's a lot of people dead. She doesn't even have a head. <laughs> it's because it went under it. It clipped. Hey, look, this is the same girl. Somebody came across and killed her, and then she respawned, which is kind of weird to watch. So this is a side quest, apparently. Who is this? Over here, initiate. Oh, it's a. Yeah, it's the Mages Guild. Okay. So I should get that one person running up to me, but like, hey, the Fighters Guild needs your help. No. All right. I mean, it's cool, but it's nothing spectacular. It's just a simple little city. But it's... It's easy to go through. Here goes the guild bay... Or the banking period. Here goes, uh... The chapel. Yeah. I'm assuming that's, like, the main castle. Okay. Dude, my guy. He's a dark elf, so it's, uh... He's dumber, man. They look kind of creepy because they got, like, those muscles or bones or... Whatever it is up here, and it always makes them look pissed off. Not to mention their red eyes, so... The guild has need of you, Makes them look scary. There's always one. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch... My... Non-combat pet. I need something... Darker. I mean, that's cool. That, that one's definitely an option. Maybe not... Maybe not Daedric. Or maybe Daedric, I don't know. We'll see. Mm. A Jackal, maybe? This is, I think... You know what? We're gonna rock the Jackal. Because I'm pretty sure that's what you get for starting this DLC in general. Oh no, this is a Thieves Guild. Okay, never mind. Um... I, I don't know. I always love this this one. It looks so cool. So I got the black cat. <sighs> there isn't there really isn't that many good dark brotherhood themed Cliff Strider. Cause this is like the Death Hound, but that's more vampire themed, I guess. I got a lot of pets. Huh.
I think I, I think I'm leaning towards staying with this one. Let's double check on Daedric. If you guys know of a better one. You know, this one is pretty cool. I think I'm going to stay with this one. If you guys like one that you guys would prefer to see, let me know down in the comment section down below. And I'll probably rock that. Actually, you know what? That mount is pretty perfect. It is pretty perfect. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Dark Brotherhood. How far are we? We are pretty much. Whoops. Oh. What? Hit him. Oh, God. Let's go ahead and drop this bad boy so that we are protected. I hear a snake. Ugh, that was creepy, but okay. We are definitely going to discover this, though, because I feel like we're going to be coming here a lot. It's a merchant. Is this a normal merchant? Welcome yeah, it is. To my humble shop. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got business to take care of. You know what? I'm gonna kill this dude. Come here. Sorry, I had uh, an itch. Now let's get back to the fight. Let's go. We're almost there. That's another player's. What's his name? Drak. Dra something. What was that sound? That was creepy. There's some crows there. That'd be cool to have a crow pet. They might have been. I don't know. Sublime, my brother. Welcome. Talk to Astra? It reminds me of Astrid from Skyrim. Let's see how the sanctuary is compared to Skyrim, though. Elam. Okay. This place looks enormous. It's pretty big. So, I could go either left or right. Eventually, it ends up into this central hub thing. What's this right here? Supplier? I'm kind of I'm kind of curious to find out what that is. Whoa. How cool would it have to have a companion like that? This is a merchant. I used to be an assassin, just like you. Until you took an arrow These to the knee. Days, my skin is just too thin for that kind of work. What does he sell? Typical stuff. Nothing. Is this it? No. Okay. Also, this is just the workbenches and stuff. Dude, that would be so cool to have a companion like that. And then this is more. Yeah, this is more. Okay, so let's go more over here. Ooh. Five tenants. I wonder if this is the exact same book from Skyrim. Because this is the... um, The five tenants is how they operate, basically. Like, their, their rules. Almost like the Constitution for the United States. This is essentially their rule book, you know? I kind of want to read this. With annotations by Speaker Terranus, whatever. Brothers and sisters, we are predators, but we are not animals. We bow to no law of nation or alliance, but we have rules and morals. Break or neglect the following rules of the... To follow these tenets at your own peril. Expulsion for the Brotherhood is the least of the punishment awaiting 
such reprehensible traitors. Obey these five tenets, and your devotion shall never come into question. Tenet one, never dishonor the Night Mother. To do so is to invoke the wrath of Sithis. Revere uh, the Night Mother, for our unholy matron serves as the source of our contracts, the lifeblood of the Brotherhood. Tenet two. Never betray the Dark Brotherhood or its secrets. To do so is to invoke the wrath of Sithis. Wrath of Sithis. We thrive in the shadows. To cast light on those is a blasphemy before Sithis and the Night Mother. <clears throat> Tenet number three. Never disobey or carry out an order from a Dark Brotherhood superior. To do so is to invoke the wrath of Sithis. Go figure. To listen and obey, uh, to listen and to obey, the very first lesson taught to every member of the Dark Brotherhood. Tenet number four: Never steal the possessions of a Dark Brotherhood, uh, of a Dark Brother or Dark Sister. To do so, student. Okay, got it. Uh, to steal from a Dark Brother or Sister is to steal from the Night Mother. Sithis hates such thieves. So then, why do the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood have? <coughs> I guess a working relationship if the Dark Brotherhood hates thieves and the Thieves Guild hates murders. It's interesting. <clears throat> Tenet number five. Never kill a Dark Brother or Dark Sister. To do so is to invoke, okay. We are family and family doesn't murder family unless a member has been cast out or his or her life is as sacred as your own. Know that it is not your own kin who will come to judge you should you fail to uphold this Com uh, compact. Remember the story of, okay, yeah. And that's why I don't read. <laughs> We're here, but first I wanna, I still wanna go check this out. So let's go check this out first before we talk to that person so this is somebody's room it looks like okay more books it's this way right yep there goes the book you guys can go ahead and read this and who are you? Remain silent? He, she gave me a lead. And a Dark Brotherhood piece of armor. What does this do? Max stamina, max magicka. Weapon and spell damage. When you kill an enemy, you gain. Whoops. When you kill an enemy, you gain 5% chance movement speed and become invisible for 3 seconds. This is good for assassinations. <clears throat> I'm not gonna replace my monster set though. At least not right now. Wait, how do I get there? It was this way. All right, hello. Who are you? Astra Karelius. You must be the new initiate. The Perhaps. The sent word that you were on your way. I'm the matron of this sanctuary. Obey me without question, and I'm certain we'll get along just fine. Of course, matron. And this is for you, Shrouded Armor, the uniform of the Dark Brotherhood. You're one of the family now. You might as well look the part. And since you showed such expertise with the Blade of Woe, take this as well. I expect great things, Initiate. Nice. We are all brothers and sisters, children of the Night Mother and our dread father. Even lone assassins need a family. Introduce yourself to the others. They can provide advice and information, even support for your more challenging contracts. Will I get another contract soon? 
Eager are you? That's good. Then go and talk to Elam Drawls. He handles lesser contracts for the new initiates. Prove yourself to him, and more interesting assignments will follow. Welcome to the family. Why would I want to talk to Elam's Drawls? It's pretty disturbing. I'll go find Elam then. Explore the sanctuary. Meet the others. At least the ones currently at home. I believe Green Venom Tongue, Kor, Hildegard, Mirabelle, Simbar, and Tanik are available. When you're done, Elam should have a new task for you to accomplish. Okay, so how do I advance in the Dark Brotherhood? A little ambition is good for the soul, but only a little. Complete the contracts assigned to you. It's as simple as that. Every life you send to Sithis pleases the Night Mother and raises your profile. Complete enough jobs and you'll be rewarded. What happens as I advance? We'll trust you with more difficult contracts. Assign you more high-profile targets. The awards are greater, and we'll ask you to help with matters of importance to the Brotherhood. But don't get ahead of yourself. Start with Elam's contracts first. I heard something about a member of the Dark Brotherhood being murdered? Where did you... Oh, they were discussing that at the Noble's estate, were they? Bastards! It's true. Someone has been killing our brothers and sisters. When the hunters become the hunted... It's like the world has gone askew. Any idea who the murderer might be? We're investigating the matter. It's not unusual for our pasts to catch up with us, and it's not like we have a shortage of enemies. We'll learn the identity of this killer, and then there will be a reckoning. Who would dare challenge the Dark Brotherhood, though? True. Few have the audacity to openly oppose us, but there are many who would love to see the Brotherhood abolished. This feels... different. Stay vigilant. Keep your eyes open and report anything you notice as you execute your duties. Sounds good. Tell me more about yourself, Matron. The past isn't something we talk about here. For most of us, our lives didn't really begin until we were called to serve the Night Mother. And I was called at a very early age. Have you always been the Matron of this sanctuary? No one joins the Brotherhood and immediately steps into a position of power. That's not how we do things. I had to prove myself, show that I was dedicated to the Night Mother and her tenants. I served for many years before I earned my title. So did you advance through the ranks uh, in this sanctuary? The sanctuary has always been my home in the Brotherhood, if that's what you're asking. Yes. I've seen the Gold Coast change over the years. But that's enough questions about me. I wouldn't want to think you were taking my measure for some reason. No, of course not. Okay. Whoa, this dude's buff. Alright. We are golden. So we gotta go around meeting everybody. Where is everybody? Oh, two of them are back in the same spot that we were. Two of them are right here, though. So let's go ahead and talk to these two people first. And see what they have to say. I guess we'll start over here first. Green Venom Tongue. Ah, I heard we had a new initiate on the premises. I was just checking my notes and realized the details concerning you are sorely lacking. We'll need to rectify that before too long. The Matron suggested I introduce myself. She did. Uh -huh. Interesting. I wonder what she's planning this time. Well, I'm certain everything will become clear, eventually. Even you, I suppose. Why do they call you Green Venom Tongue? Aren't you familiar with the cherished Black Marsh custom? Not really. Consuming various venomous concoctions to bolster our natural immunity? I drank so much my tongue turned green. <laughs> ah, the new initiates fall for that every time. Anyways, it was nice to meet you. And you as well, Initiate. I look forward to interviewing you at length when you have some time. For my journals, of course. I keep meticulous records. I'll help you, you'll help me. Isn't that what the Bretons call a win-win? I suppose. Any advice you want to share with a new recruit? Now this one I know I've written down. Study the five tenets. Learn them. Memorize them. Live them. There's a copy in the sanctuary. 
someplace. I already read it. I'd let you look at this one, but I don't let anybody read my journals. That would be inadvisable. I see. Anything else? Such a curious mind. Then listen carefully, Initiate. Contracts must be taken seriously. Always obey the Matron's instructions to the letter. And don't get yourself killed. Though that probably goes without saying. Is there really something about me in that book? Perhaps. Depending upon what you mean by something and me. Rest assured, whatever musings and observations I record herein are strictly confidential. Well, I'd like to know a little bit more about you. What more could you possibly need to know? I am a shadow scale. My life begins and ends with the Dark Brotherhood. What is a shadow scale? I could have sworn I explained this before. Let me check my notes. Hmm. Well, like other Argonians born under the sign of the shadow, I was taken upon hatching and trained to be an assassin. That makes me a good killer. A very good killer. Do you like living here? What an intriguing inquiry. Attempting to ascertain if I actually like it here, or something more subtle. Well, like or dislike is meaningless. I served the Matron as I served my former sanctuary. And as I served Black Marsh when called upon. Former sanctuary? The river carries us where it will. And that's all I prefer to say about that at this time. I was there. Now I am here. As are you, Initiate. Okay, goodbye. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, Shadow Scales are... An Argonian thing. It's pretty It's pretty interesting. If you guys want to know more about that, you guys should definitely look into it. Shadow Scales are literally raised from birth, essentially, to be assassins. So you're the new Initiate. Ooh, she's hmm. cute. You're certainly cuter than the last one. The last one? But anyways, the matron suggested I introduce myself. And why wouldn't she, darling? I am her favorite after all. As a matter of fact, I'm everyone's favorite. I'm sure you'll agree soon enough. Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you. May the Night Mother forever hold you in her cold and loving embrace. She seems like the type of person that would seduce somebody and then kill them. Uh, so there have been other recruits lately then? A few. The speaker sends new initiates to the sanctuary every so often. New blood, you understand. Before you, there was a charming young lad from Glenumbra. Van something, I believe. A shame, really. He was too scrumptious to die so soon. I heard a few members have been murdered. Mind your tongue, initiate. We're the murderers, not the victims here. But I suppose the circumstances were somewhat... unusual? Someone left Van pinned to the wall of the inn in Kavach, held up with multiple daggers. When I find the villain... Wow. Almost as if they wanted to send a message, almost. Ah, uh, sounds like someone's hunting the Brotherhood, exactly. You don't hunt the hunters. The Brotherhood hunts you. Anything else is a crime against the natural order. But enough of this dark talk. We're just working ourselves into a tizzy. I'd much rather get excited about something more enticing. Are you always this forward? Forward? Believe me, this is my shy and unimposing side. After all, we wouldn't want to give my beloved Simbar the wrong idea, would we? Find me later, and I'll show you what forward really looks like. <laughs> later? When would you like me to meet you? <laughs> oh, you really are too easy, my darling. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. I suppose I get that from my family heritage. The Motiers are rich, powerful, and blessed with good looks, and a wicked sense of humor. Just play along and enjoy. I might be crazy or rem remembering the name a little weird, 
But isn't Motier the dude from Oblivion? From the Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion? I'm not 100% sure. If you guys know or remember, let me know down in the comment section. That that would be a cool tie to this game if that was the case. Oh, so you came from a noble family. Oh, there's nothing <clears throat> noble about my family. But I left that all behind. The wealth, the boredom, the servants waiting on me hand and foot. One day, I strangled my handmaid with a golden chain. And here I am. Life in the Brotherhood suits me. What should I know about the Dark Brotherhood? You shouldn't know anything, darling. We're a secret organization, after all. That's fair. I suppose I can tell you that we serve the Night Mother. Her cold embrace binds us together. Never dishonor her. Our contracts aren't mere tasks. We carry out her will. I'm still not sure how all this works, if I'm being completely honest. Sweet mother, sweet mother. Send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. <laughs> These words, as part of a complex ritual, form the black sacrament, black sacrament, the means by which those in need pray to the Night Mother. And we consider that to be a contract? Our mother hears the prayer and whispers to the listener. The listener sends a speaker to arrange the details and create the contract. Then the speaker selects an assassin to carry out our mother's will. It's more than just a job. It's a calling. It sounds like the Dark Brotherhood worships the Night Mother. Uh, this just got much too serious for my taste, darling. Let's talk about something, oh, I don't know, more decadent. Like how I'd be nibbling on your ear if Simbar wasn't here. He's watching, isn't he? Maybe a little nibble is in order, hmm? She is very flirtatious. Maribel Motier. Well, she's interesting for sure. Simbar. I've got more bounties on my head than anyone else in the sanctuary. It's not that I get caught in the act of killing. Night mother forbid. It's just that I appreciate a good challenge. So I let a witness notice me every so often. Random. I'm assuming they're together? I'm not sure. So it's this way, right? Yeah. And then the last one will be Elam. Which is all the way at the front. Hey, there's one right here. Tannic. So you're the new recruit, huh? Oh, he looks no, dope. Don't tell me your name. I'll uh, just call you New Blade. It's easier to remember and uh, <laughs> it's not like I'm going to know you for very long. Yes, New Blade. That's so much better. I agree. I actually like that name. New Blade. I like that. Uh, why don't you think I'll be around for that long? Oh, I didn't mean to offend you. I just believe in full disclosure. We've lost an initiate and a fully trained assassin recently. Mirabelle's in denial, but I know what's happening. Someone's hunting the Brotherhood. And you make a tempting target. I could take care of myself. Sure you can. So could Dorisa. She still ended up face down in an anvil alley with her throat slit from ear to ear. Damn. Whoever murdered her has some impressive skills. I'll give them that. Stay sharp, New Blade. We're not alone in the shadows anymore. Tell me more about these murders. Dorisa and Van. One was an experienced assassin who knew her business. The yeah, other one was a recruit. Was a raw recruit with hardly any blood on his blade. Kind of like you, new blade. It could have been coincidence, but I think they were targeted by the same killer. What makes you think these murders are connected? Just a feeling, I guess. And the way they were left for all the world to see. Someone was proud of their work and wanted everyone to know it. And it had to be a professional. Teresa was too good to be taken down by an amateur. Yeah, I mean, it seems more than just mere coincidence. Uh, have you shared your suspicions with the matron? Matron Astara tells us what to think, not the other way around. But yes, we've talked about this. All we can do is stay alert and try to figure out who's behind the murders. Until then, we're just jumping at shadows. Very 
dangerous shadows. Anything, uh, anything else you want to tell me about the Dark Brotherhood? The Dark Brotherhood has been good to me. They taught me to focus my anger, to let the Dread Father work through me. I have a home, an income, and a set of rules to live by. Life makes sense to me here in the Sanctuary. There are rules? Yeah, the five tenets. Oh, New Blade, there are always rules. The trick is to learn what they are before you get your hand caught in the sweet roll box. For us, it's all about the five tenets. I'm sure there's a book about them somewhere in the sanctuary. I already found them. Way ahead of you there, brother. So what's your story, Tannik? Oh, it's a long and sordid tale, full of romance and daring do. Or if you prefer the short version, I was apprenticed to a smith in Sentinel. Loved the trade, hated my master. He liked to hammer more than just metal. When I had enough, I killed him. <laughs> what? And that's how you became, uh, you came into the Brotherhood. Oh no, that was just the beginning of my story. I was young and stupid back then. I ran, but uh, apparently not far or fast enough. Got to spend some quality time in a Hammerfell dungeon for my actions. Hmm. Eight years, if I recall correctly. That sounds terrible. Well, it wasn't sunshine and camel milk, but I survived. Met some people, learned some lessons. When one of the guards got sloppy, I was ready to act. Simple as that. Of course, my old life was over, but at least I was free. So how do you wind up in the Brotherhood? Hey, I had to make a living. I was branded as a killer, so killing was what I did. Worked for the crime boss Bashira for a while. Then I had a visit one night. The speaker scared the piss out of me, but I couldn't refuse his generous offer. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so where's this last person? It's all right. Or second to last. Just a new smell. Your new brother or sister must be here. Come on now, Hilda. Don't be shy. I got lotion in my eye and it's burning. Skittish around strangers. Ah. Okay. It's like it's a literal baby werewolf. That's so cool. Hi, Cor. New brother. Welcome, welcome. If there's anything you need, anything at all, you come to me. Yes. Uh. Well, the matron suggested I meet the uh, the rest of the family, so here we are. Of course. It's important to get to know everyone. You're part of the family now, and family helps each other. It's what we do. Uh, why do you have a werewolf in that cage? Oh, that's not a werewolf. Uh, well, I guess it is. But it's also little Hildegard. She's really sweet, but you'll need to say hello later. She still doesn't have the hang of controlling her transformations. Okay, that sounds fair. Uh, Hildegard sounds like she has an interesting story. Hildegard is like the little sister I never had, but her true family was awful. They drank the blood of werebeasts. It's a dangerous practice, but not entirely unheard of in Nordlands. They even forced their children to participate. So, so far we've met a Breton, uh, a, an Argonian, and now a Nord. Is that how Hildegard became a werewolf? We assume so. But as to why she can't control her transformations, that remains a mystery. She lost control one day and hurt another member of the tribe. They cursed her and she ran away. I found her later. She was confused, alone, nearly mad. Well, you're lucky she didn't attack you. I'm a skilled hunter. Taming animals is almost second nature to me. It took time, but she came to trust me, accepted me as her big brother. Before that happened, though, she nearly tore my face off. See? I still have the scar. Right there. It's a big scar. How did two Nords end up in, the, uh, in a Brotherhood Sanctuary in the Gold Coast? Well, you know, there are some things we just don't talk about in public. I hope you understand. I will tell you that we love it here. We're part of the best family in the whole world. And we're glad to have you with us. I'm sure Hilda agrees. Yeah. 
Oh wait, and also I believe uh the uh the leader, I forgot her name already, but I think the leader is an Imperial. So there's literally like every race covered here so far. Or at least that's the impression I'm getting. Uh, tell me about yourself, Kor. I always liked to hunt and fight. I became a soldier, but that turned out to be more about waiting around than actual battle. So I sold my sword as a mercenary, made some enemies, and soon found out that other cell swords were being paid to kill me. Looks like you survived. Indeed I did. Kept a low profile in town. Spent most of my time in the wilderness. I almost decided to stop running, and then I found little Hilda. She became my reason to go on living. Good. Goodbye. I wonder if we're going to meet Hilda as... Good old Hildegard, not as a werewolf. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. Where, oh where... Could these oh uh, so now we have one more left right yeah that's uh Elam we actually saw him on the way in okay so it's gotta be this way should be right around this corner I think yep here we go I want one of those skeletons as a companion well met brother I coordinate our family's more mundane contracts I suggest you get used to this face you're going to be seeing a lot of me. Dunmer! So, the only thing we're missing is... That I can think of off the top of my head is a Khajiit. An Altimer. That... I mean, that's all I could think of. Astra said I should speak with you. Did she now? Are you sure that's what she told you to do? Wouldn't want you to get in trouble your first day in the Sanctuary. Now that you're here, we might as well discuss your training. I like him a lot. I don't know why, but he has this cool thing about him. My training? Don't repeat what I say. It annoys me. Oh, my bad. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, your training. Complete a contract, receive a reward. Prove yourself, and more significant contracts will be made available to you. It's simple, really. I understand. I don't expect you to last a week, but as long as you're still here. Ready for your first contract, Initiate? Yeah, of course. Not everyone appeals to the Dark Brotherhood through the Black Sacrament. For those with copious amounts of gold to spare, we usually indulge their more mundane requests. Are you ready to take on your first contract? Yes, I already said yes. Typically, you'll consult the ledger marked for death. But I've handpicked something special for your first job. So, he, so he's not a speaker then, right? He's just the person because it doesn't say speaker here. But I thought the speakers were the ones who handpicked jobs for for people. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Who do I have to kill? Travel to the city of Kvatch. Identify the target listed on this contract, then eliminate them. I encourage you to practice with the Blade of Woe, but as long as the target dies, it doesn't really matter how you kill them. Can you manage that? I'll return when my target is dead. What are you standing around for? I'm not much to look at, and neither is this room. I'd like to know more about you. Me? Uh-huh. Flattered? No. No, that's not the right word. Uncomfortable? Yes, that's it. Well, whatever do you want to know about me for? I just want to know who I'll be working with. Not the brooding type? Good. They're a bore. I've been with Astara at this sanctuary since its inception. More years than I care to remember. In that time, I've done enough contract killing to know how to drum up business. It's my charm. So he must be one of the leaders. I think all the people that we talk to are like the leaders of the sanctuary. But it kind of, I'm getting the impression that he's probably like close to the number, like there's um, what's her name, Astra, and then there's Elam, as like a very close number two. I don't know, I could be wrong, but that's kind of the impression that I'm getting out of all of this. Uh, I'd like to know more about the contract. Anyone can find a reason to kill someone. 
ambition, jealousy, humiliation. I once killed for a jester who couldn't take a joke. Careful who you heckle in Stormhaven. Good to know. So, we have to go murder somebody. Is it here? It's in Kavach. We haven't we haven't been there. We've been to Anvil. We haven't been to Kavach. So let's go. Let's go look for Kavach. Or not look for. Let's go. Wait, how do I get out of here? All oh, right here. Look at that. That's the regalia that I was talking about. We have a pretty long horse ride there, because it's on the other side of. Oh, not really. It's actually not that bad. Let's go, po uh, pony. My spiders lost it. <clears throat> Is my... Where's my horse at? How do I do this again? It is... Huh. Oh yeah, C. Dude, I think I'm gonna. I need to. I need to get my horse yeah. faster. 15 is just not cutting it. <clears throat> and 60 is max, and I'm far from that. It's okay though. Whoops, that was an accident. That was also an accident. I haven't put on Bastion, not because I'm going to use it, but it's more of a just-in-case. What is this? Estate tunnels? I can't go in there. Is this a player home or something? I don't know. It doesn't show anything. I wonder what that is. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Let's discover this location real quick. Yeah. Oh! Wasn't expecting that. I may have made a mistake by coming here. But at least I discovered it, so let's go ahead and go. I don't... You know what? Screw it. See you later, buddy. Do not end this war. It will end us. Come here. <laughs> that was funny. Happy birthday. He died via bleed damage. That was cool. What is that sound? Oh, it's hurting me. It's okay. Ooh, speaking of player home, there's a player home yeah. here. Yeah. Can I can I explore it? Yeah. Yeah. How do I get in? Oh, yeah. there's a hole. Ooh, this is the erstwhile sanctuary. This is going to be just a replica of the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, isn't it? So far, the answer is... No, but it's similar. So I can't even... Okay. Well, I want to look through it anyways. It's not even available for sale. Why is it even here? This does look dope, though. Not gonna lie. It's got your own waterfall and everything. Damn, this place is huge! And you can go upstairs? This place is enormous, dude. What are we... Wow. Wow. 
Loki, I'm kind of impressed. Let's check out upstairs real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed by this one. This one looks cool. I'm surprised it's not for sale. This is like a like a prayer place almost, like a ritualistic location. Okay, I mean I think that's good enough for this. Let's go ahead and go back inside just so that we can leave this home. I like the home though. I, th I think it looks pretty cool. I'm very satisfied with mine though. I have that one arena. The arena is pretty dope. Whoop, got stuck. So we're here then, right? This is Kavach. We definitely have to discover the way shrine for sure. Alright, so kill Augusta Salvin. Where is this Augusta? Alright, so it's around here somewhere. Oh, this is gonna be easy. There's like nobody around here. That was easy enough. Let's just fast travel back. That's the right one, right? Too far. Alright, whatever. Whoa, this dude looks insane. Okay. Why can't I get on my horse? Okay. Too easy. Hello. Nice to meet you guys, my fellow new initiates. Excuse me. Gotta get back to the sanctuary, though. Gotta talk to Mr. Elam's Draws. Excuse me, excuse me. Coming through, coming through. Hello. You're back, I see. Mm hmm. How could I not? You're standing in my light. So tell me, how did you do? I mean, I completed my first contract. Well, good for you. But don't get too full of your accomplishments just yet. That was a fairly easy contract I started you with. Come back when you're ready for more. If the speaker or the matron give an order, though, that takes priority. Okay, sounds like a plan. So we do have that. Let's look at what we just got, though. I totally forgot to open up the other one, too. So this is just nothing there was another thing that we got before though it was a dark brotherhood thing I think it was like this yeah this right here sit this inferno staff I'll take it and then I'll bind it what does this do Oh, this is the same one that we got last time, right? Same as the collar. Or the shoulders. The shoulder piece. Yeah, Sith is touch. Okay. Not really useful for my liking, but it's better than nothing. Wait, where am I going? Okay, let's check this out. No from Astra. Initiate. A situation has developed in Kavach that requires our immediate attention find me in the sanctuary and i'll provide additional instructions astra i should talk to astra in the dark brotherhood sanctuary you don't say so we're already here i was about to try to get into my horse but kind of don't have that option <clears throat> astra i'm coming Hildegard! Fanatics. It's time to teach them a lesson about the blessings of silence! 
Enough. I'll decide how we respond to these malign sermons. Oh, uh, she's Initiate. adorable. I have a task for you. Yes, ma'am. Once again, the pious idiots of Kavach dare to provoke the anger of the Dark Brotherhood. Such an insult cannot be allowed to stand unchallenged. Uh... So what's going on in Kvatch? As if the Grand Sermonizer didn't have enough vices to rage about. Now she's preaching against the Brotherhood. She says we are weak, powerless. A toothless dragon that inspires ridicule instead of fear. These lies must be silenced. Permanently. Alright, I can go to Kvatch. No problem. Be wary. The Order of the Hour has increased its presence in Kavach. Avoid the warrior priests if you can. Meet up with Tanik and silence the priests that speak against us, including the Grand Sermonizer. That will put the fear of Sithis in them. Yeah, I mean, I'll go to Kavach right away then. Tanik will meet you in Kavach. I expect the two of you to deal with the Grand Sermonizer and show the people of that hypocritical city the real power of the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, what's the Dark Brotherhood's reputation like these days? The common folk fear us. The political leaders tolerate us. And everyone who needs someone dead and can pay the cost hires us without hesitation. Our reputation remains strong. But these attacks by the sermonizers, they're obviously up to something. You don't say. What do you think they're planning? It could be anything. Certainly Primate Artorius and his priests have little love for the Brotherhood. I wonder, does the Cathedral plan to outlaw the Black Sacrament? Would they dare such an action? Regardless, these sermons are bad for business. You don't say. Do we really need to send two assassins to Kavach, though? Caution becomes the appropriate response after the deaths of two assassins, Initiate. That's fair. But make no mistake. I expect you to assassinate the Grand Sermonizer. Tanik will be there to provide assistance. Nothing more. Uh, do assassins often die when they go on missions? Under normal circumstances, no. These recent attacks against us, however, have made circumstances far from normal. Concentrate on the Grand Sermonizer. That's your primary mission. Well, tell me more about this mission. The Grand Sermonizer and her priests spread lies about the Brotherhood for reasons I do not yet understand. Whether she seeks to insult us or acts upon some misguided tenet of faith, our response is clear. These impudent priests must die. Who is this Grand Sermonizer that you're speaking of? She's one of the ranking priests at the Cathedral of Kavach, right below Primate Artorius in the hierarchy. She won't be easy to find, however. Killing her subordinates may draw her out. Otherwise, rely on Tanik to locate the hole she's hiding in. I wonder if it's the same Artorius from Dark Souls. I'm just kidding, it's not. Who's Primate Artorius? Primate Artorius leads the Cathedral of Akatosh in Kavach. The chanters and sermonizers bow to his authority as the chosen of the Dragon God, and even the Order of the Hour follows his commands. Pious and faithful. I find the man to be insufferable. All right, goodbye. Initiate, I have my own contract in Kvetch. I'll join you in Tanik as soon as I'm finished. Three blades on the same contract? Is that wise, mate? Just make sure the Grand Sermonizer dies, Initiate. That's my chief concern. Good to know. Okay, so Kvetch. We had just left there, and now we're going back. How much money do I have? I got more than enough. Let's go ahead and do this. We left Kovach just to go back to Kovach. And we will be the anti-hero of Kovach. Whoa. Somebody pre-ordered the, uh, the latest DLC. Yeah, as soon as it got announced, I, I pre-ordered it too, man. I was ex I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, is this the Grand Sermonizer? Oh no, this is Tannic. Hey, Tannic. I was wondering how long it would take you to get here. Five minutes. Didn't Astara instill you with a sense of urgency about this mission? She must be getting tender-hearted after all these years. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I came straight here. These markings on his face look dope. I like, I like this dude a lot, actually. 
Uh, does everything amuse you? Yes, I say so. I find life to be a complicated series of pranks and pratfalls. Besides, this is your mission. I'm only here to observe and offer assistance if you get in over your head. Speaking of which, try not to get captured or killed today. What about tomorrow? Uh, so you're just going to stand around and watch? No, that would be boring. You start murdering the sermonizer's priests while I take on the real challenge. I'll locate her hiding spot. Then I'll find you so we can kill her together. <laughs> that will put the fear of the Brotherhood in the Kavach people. Um. Okay. Be stealthy or slaughter everyone that gets in your way. Whichever works best for you. They all wind up with Sithis in the end, so what's the worry? Now, let's get out there and deal with the Grand Sermonizer and her lying priests. Sounds like we have a plan. Time to dip our daggers in Sermonizer. So what's we got a back, New Blade. Yeah, for is this one of them? No, but she has a she has a sword. Is that one of them? Murder is a filthy business in the eyes of Akatosh. You don't see me. Uh. Die. Oh. That was close. There's another one right here. All by herself too. I almost got caught with that first one. I'm surprised they didn't see me. It's a good thing I don't have Bastion with me, dude, because Bastion would have been pissed. I need one more. Where would I find this last sermonizer? Oh god, this one's gonna be tough. Wait, I think I see another one way out there. This one would be easier. Can you like go away, Imperial? And those who treat murder as business are the worst of all. Hear me, faithful of Akatosh. What? Is, why is he just standing there? Followers of Sithis. Uh, I don't see anybody over here. There is one right here. This one looks prime. I gotta wait for that guy to turn around, though. Looks like I wasn't the only one that thought this. Tina, there's one of her doppelgangers just uh, doppelgangers are just chilling there. Will this guy just turn around? The really? Dark Brotherhood, cowards and I'm gone. Well, our quarry cowers in her family's estate outside Kavach. I'll meet you there, New Blade. And if you really want to impress the matron, kill a few more sermonizers along the way. Kill two more sermonizers. I guess we'll kill the one that's over here. It says two more. I don't believe me. The challengers have bested the order of the hour, chap. No, I spoke too soon. Okay. Go! Got one more to go. This is exciting, dude. Not getting caught and stuff, you know? There's one more, but that one's gonna be tough to kill. Well, one more that I personally found. It's the one that was standing in the middle of the road. Somewhere. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. Where? Ooh, yikes. This one's gonna be tough. Don't do it! Is he gonna 
didn't do it. Trinamac, protect us from this killer. That's why I didn't do it. This guy's an idiot. Oh. You did that to yourself. There wouldn't be one in there, I don't think. That guy makes... That guy made a horrible assassination move. It's okay, though. He's not really an idiot. He just... Wait, hold on. Can I? Yes, I can. The junk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I wanted. Still gotta find one more, though. <sighs> I need a break. Go take a break. I'm probably gonna have to resort to killing one of the same ones that I killed before once they respawn. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Oh, wait. Don't look. She didn't even realize that I killed her right behind her. Nice. So what's the what's the next location? It's right outside, so that's actually not that bad. Yeah. That was fun. Not gonna lie. What is okay, let's go ahead and leave here. We didn't get caught once either. Bastion would be so disappointed with us. Yeah. Oh, this, this is the place where we killed a couple people before. I gotta enter this place. Sorry, brother. But you're meant to die. Well, I'm in. That was easy. I didn't even have to kill that one dude. I just killed him because I thought it was going to be fun. Which it was. So, yay me! No order of the hour? Huh. Follow me, New Blade. Okay, Tannik. New Blade, come quietly and listen. Our quarry stirs below. Grand Sermonizer, have you discovered the location of the sanctuary yet? Unfortunately, this assassin expired before revealing anything useful. I'll capture another. Try not to kill this one before we learn the location of the Dark Brotherhood's lair. Who is that? Lord Akatosh, hear our prayer. Just prepare the body. Who is that black armored warrior? Some kind of mercenary. Now's our chance. Follow me. Let's go. We're gonna have to fight her right here, huh? I'm gonna get Bastion just in case. She tortured Simbar. Such an insult to the family cannot stand. Oh, <gasps> that was the Rest girl's boyfriend. Maribel or whatever her name was. At least I'm assuming. Oh my god, he's dead. What foul magic is this? New Blade. Beware. I feel so weak. I, I can't what move. Is... There's a trap! Wait, what happened? But I refuse to die here. He ran. I'm just gonna sit here and see who comes for me first. Or she sit ran. Sir Tall Papa. Tarnik, are you planning to just lay down and die? <laughs> they knew we'd come for Simba. Trapped his body with some kind of foul death magic. Get up, you milk drinker! City still has work for you to do. Initiate. The Grand Sermonizer is yours. I'll get Tonic home. Oh, we're about to fight her. Let's get Bastion back. Grand Sermonizer study. Bastion, I hope you're ready, brother. I'm ready to face anything. Okay. So you guys can go ahead and read this. Is there another thing to read? 
No? Okay. Escape tunnel. Are we gonna actually be able to kill her? Pursue the Grand Sermonizer. Defend me, Knights of the Order of the Hour. They will be ours. Power of well, I didn't lose rapport, so that's good. Hey, come on. Fashion, I need you to hurry up. Let's go. You sit. Hello. Bam. Who are they? Murder me if you must. Oh, that's her. Save your dark brotherhood. Shit. Yes, it is. Whoops. Leave me alone. Come on. I didn't mean to get rid of Bastion. Oh well. I don't think he's really necessary right now anyways. Oh, you guys want some too? Sit your butt down. You too. Ow. Let's go. Dunskis. Seems I'll need to do something to deal with you. This is her. Grand Sermonizer. I'm gonna kill all of her friends first. Ow. Ah. Oh, I'm getting my ass beat. Give me some health. There we go. I totally forgot about sweeps for a second, not gonna lie. But it saved my life. That was close, too. The Grand Sermonizer has been defeated. That was a pretty fun fight. I wonder how much more powerful my build, since he's a hybrid, I wonder how much more powerful he's going to be once the next update drops. Let's go. I feel like killing stuff. Okay, so we're just going back to the dark bro uh, to the Brotherhood Sanctuary. As it says, you guys can't see it, but it says return to the Brotherhood Sanctuary as the quest update. Hey, is this uh What is this? I'm honestly not sure what that was, but okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I, I guess. You know, this this horse reminds me of Shadowmere. From, uh... From Skyrim. I just 360'd that. Excuse me. I must come in. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Talk to Astra. Dude, I really want one of those skeletons. Not gonna lie. That'd be dope. Hi, Astra. Long time no see. Kor brought Tanik home injured but alive. He told me you went after the Grand Sermonizer. Tell me, has the deed been done? As a matter of fact, it has. The Grand Sermonizer and her priests are dead. We found Simbar, though, tortured to death. Simbar was one of our best. To allow himself to be captured like that. I didn't think that either the Grand Sermonizer or the Order of the Hour was capable of such a feat. Why go to all that trouble, I wonder? 
A warrior in black captured Simbar. Said she wanted to learn the location of our sanctuary. Black armor. I've heard rumors of such a warrior. But to seek the location of our sanctuary. It appears we're at war with an unknown adversary. I need to think about this. By the way, Tanik woke up and asked to see you. Okay, I'll go talk to Tanik then. That's interesting. Tanik wasn't passed out very long. Where is he? He's, uh... Okay, so this is... I gotta... I gotta talk to Mar Maribel. Simbar's dead. Do you really think I want to talk to you right now? Aww, I'm sorry, sweetheart. You could tell they care she cared about him. Don't worry, Tanik. A cask of mead, and you'll be back on your feet in no time. Shit, your mead tastes like bee vomit. <laughs> I think I'll pass. Oh, Tanik, I hate that this happened to you. You worry more than the matron, Hildegard. I'll be as good as new before you know it. Ah, the new blade has arrived. Give us the room if you would, Kor. Certainly, Tanik. But I still expect you to be completing contracts again in a few days. I'll do my best not to disappoint you. Take your time, Tanik. I am going to go say a prayer for your quick recovery. Okay. What's up, Tanik? Kor and Hildegard mean well, but they're worse than a couple of mother hens. <laughs> You're alive. Does that mean the Grand Sermonizer is no longer with us? Yeah, that's exactly, you're 100% correct. The Grand Sermonizer is dead, but how are you doing? That's the more important thing right now. We're not certain what kind of magic the Grand Sermonizer placed upon Simbar's body. But I'd be dead too, if not for you and Kor. I'm indebted to you both. Okay. At least they didn't learn the location of the sanctuary, right? And I'll make sure that everyone remembers Simbar's bravery. He refused to give up our secret no matter what the Grand Sermonizer did to him. It does make me wonder about the warrior who was able to defeat him, though. You mean the Black Armored wi or Warrior? Simbar could easily best me in a fight, and that warrior bested him. If you encounter her again, don't underestimate her skills and abilities. She's hunting the Hunters, and that's a game I have no desire to play. No, I agree. Is there anything else you need from me right now? A chance to beat your <coughs> record. How many of the Sermonizer's priests did you murder anyway? Seriously, New Blade. Stay sharp out there. The roots of our trouble stretch deep below the soil. Things are gonna get worse, my friend. Mark my words. Good to know. Not really. Let's see what we got out of this one. Uh, Sabatons. The Sith is touch again. It's... It's good but it's it's good for a specific thing that specific thing which is uh the whole movement speed and everything it's not really the way i play the game so it's kind of useless for me personally but it's actually not a bad looking set so far so i have this maxed out so it should automatic okay there it is I was about to say, it should automatically give me the next quest. Because it's... The Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood are similar to the main story of the game. Where it's kind of like level gated. You have to be a certain level in the main story to progress to the next part of the story. And then with the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild, you have to be a certain rank within the skill line. Uh, as you see here. To be able to... Wait, hold on. Dark Brotherhood? Yeah. To be able to progress forward. So there's that. Hey, Kor. Where has that girl gotten to this time? Is she... Is Hildegard missing? Let's talk to him and find out. 